Hello there you guys, it's Miss Charlotte and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today I decided to do a little bit of a shorter speed build, which is impressive for me. Uh, the only reason why is because I decided to kind of build without making a shell or anything by doing an apartment renovation. So this is one of the apartments that come with the eco lifestyle pack and the new world that comes with that pack. I feel like I've been really vibing with eco lifestyle recently, like a lot of my builds have definitely been inspired by the pack. I still haven't gotten over the hype of the like pack release I think but I have never really played with the apartments before at all I don't know why I just kind of forgot they were there and then I thought why don't I have a look and try and renovate it myself so I wanted to make it quite an open plan apartment so I decided to go with like an open living space so that consists of a living room area a little kitchen that was a little bit like cornered in with some half walls and then also a dining space I did also as well as having a bedroom and a bathroom which I guess that would be like your standard apartment apartment kind of layout in terms of what rooms you'd have. I also wanted to incorporate some laundry in there so I decided to make a very tiny little narrow laundry room that you will see me make later on. So first of all I wanted to start off with the kitchen. I definitely wanted a nice wraparound kitchen since I felt like there was room for one and in general the vibe of this house was very light and beautiful beige woods just because I wanted it to be really nice and open and clean looking. At first as well when I started building this I did want to make it quite eco-friendly. I have a feeling like with these apartments I haven't really looked into them much but they probably have like solar panels on the building and stuff or maybe as your eco footprint improves it gains that but I'm presuming because it's like in the eco lifestyle world which I don't remember the name of which isn't good um it probably is quite an eco-friendly building like the apartment block so I couldn't put anything in like that but in terms of the electronic goods and like the appliances I made sure like the power consumption level was as low as possible that's as much as I try to make it very like eco-friendly and kind of fit in with the world that it's in. I think I ended up changing the colour of the kitchen in the end but this is kind of the layout I went for. I did kind of change the size at the end as well I think just to try and fit everything in in terms of like sorting out a floor plan and everything but nothing too crazy really just like a nice wraparound kitchen with a scented stove and a scented sink and lots of overhead cabinets. Something I think will be really interesting to talk about in the speed build actually which is quite unrelated the new Sims 4 pack Journey to Batu. I mean I'm not a fan. I feel like people are looking to hear about people's opinions because I want to say it's been a mixed opinion pack but for me in terms of the people that I've seen on Twitter on YouTube on Twitch and the people I talk to the response that I've found has been generally very negative as much as it's a really cool game pack and I kind of get why they've done it you know a lot of people like Star Wars and so a Sims 4 Star Wars pack sounds really exciting in theory that's the key word here the theory of it is really cool from what I've seen with the kind of early release and early access that some people have had and played through on YouTube recently is that a lot of it just it hasn't been planned well I don't know what it is it feels like they've rushed it and they could have spent time making it amazing it's just really mediocre if not just bad really I don't know if I'm being really harsh on it but I just I'm not a big fan and it's not like I have a bias or anything either because I'm one of those people who didn't know think really about Star Wars I wasn't interested in it but my boyfriend really liked it so I decided to watch it and I loved some of the movies they were great I haven't watched the whole series but I really like it it's really cool I kind of like Star Wars I don't love it and so like a Sims 4 pack with the idea of a Star Wars theme is really cool but I just I don't it doesn't feel like it belongs in the Sims the way they've executed it in general seems so separate like it's a vacation world like to get to Batu, which is really really weird and there's no actual lots there apparently like there's no lots that you can build on or anything when you go into the world there are some bits that you can go into that are built like there's a bar area but the rest of the buildings and stuff is all just scenery like you can go into it and there's nothing there it's all just like live edit objects basically it's just a bunch of debug items that they've put in the game that don't really serve a purpose other than aesthetic which is okay in terms of it looking like a really good looking like world and looking really really cool and realistic and like oh my god it's star wars apart from that my opinion it doesn't really have a purpose like it needs to be functional to be in the sims 4 you can't have like a bunch of stuff that just looks good even though star wars is super popular it feels like a niche in the sims 4 community like not everyone likes star wars and i get it it's it was a smart move for them in a way but oh my god it's like one of the most disliked i think it is the most disliked trailer they've ever had and like the dislikes majorly outweigh the likes on the video it's crazy but yeah that i just thought i'd share my opinion on it i just it, it's a cool concept but do it as a like a separate 
favorite game as like a spin-off don't put it in the sims 4 game because it has never felt more separate like if 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 you're gonna make it intentionally that separate from normal gameplay put it in a whole different thing like i get it they tried to make it similar to strangeville where there's a storyline you follow but apparently with the storyline all you do is basically talk to people and find things which sucks like it has to be more interactive and oh, i don't know it feels like it, they really missed the mark for this one which is a shame but obviously it's an optional thing if you want it you can get it but i just don't think a lot of people will get it to be honest i just wish they spent their time elsewhere trying to put things in the game that we've been asking for for ages instead of something that seems like it is a bit of a money grab which is a shame it's just i don't it's not for me and i just don't know if it sits well in the sims 4 game and with the community but yeah that's pretty much it and i'm like almost like halfway done with this build no we definitely have a lot more so basically whilst i was talking i just did a nice living area which was nice lots of cute comfy sofas again very eco lifestyle themed with all of the furniture i definitely favor the fabricated furniture compared to the ones that came with the pack i think a lot of them look so nice they just look really clean and like chic i really like them so that's kind of what i did i also did a really cute like dining area with these backdrops of leaves hanging down which i thought was nice instead of like a painting just to make it look nice and like overgrown because i do love that in apartments also working on that laundry room uh so it was quite narrow but i think it's definitely functional like to get to the washer and dryer but i just thought it'd be a handy thing to have if you have that pack but yeah throughout i just went for a fairly light wooden but still kind of warm tone wood throughout the whole of the apartment in this build i think my favorite parts of it would probably be the bathroom so the bathroom's like very nice and it feels like a hotel slash spa like that's definitely the style of bathroom i really like doing this collection of the sink bath and toilet i just really like it's just it feels like it's made of marble or something very fancy and it just looks really nice and angular and polished and just like really fancy that's why i really like it my other favorite bit would probably be the little living room area of the main living space mainly i think the massive statement piece painting i put at the end looks really nice it's just a really cool pop of color and the style of those swatches which are kind of like acrylic paints almost but just in general putting lots of plants in this build as per usual i really do like putting bamboo plants in recently especially in like the entrances of a house or in a bathroom i feel like they look really cool but yeah now moving on to the bedroom i did just make this apartment fit for two adult sims i guess like an adult and a teenage sim like if it was your kid could probably live in this house it's quite difficult with these size of apartments to make them massive so i didn't want to try and squeeze it in too much and make it too cramped and tiny but i guess instead of a laundry room you could like slightly reshape it and then manage to get like a kid's bedroom or like a toddler or a baby or something i mean babies are pretty much objects in the sims 4 so they can pop into any like build honestly you just need a base in it and you're fine aren't you <laughs> but going for my absolute favorite bed in this game at the moment oh just look at the textures and the pillows i love it sims 4 like just give us more of this and then we'll be happy also i built this before the update came out but there was a new patch that lets you put free window placements i'm really excited about that it's definitely gonna help when building stuff in the sims 4 definitely you get these weird clipping things even when you use bb.move objects where if you put windows too close together or a window too close to the door you get the weird wall clipping thing it's kind of a bit glitchy and weird but apparently they've got rid of that so that's really cool you're gonna have a lot of free placement i really hope that one day they decide to let you move windows and apartments because that would be super cool like this um apartment actually comes with a balcony but you just can't access it at all i don't know what that's about like you can't build on it you can't place any objects you can't change the colors of anything it just kind of sits there and it's a bit pointless like if you're gonna give us a balcony at least let us do something with it that is one thing that i'm not a massive fan of with apartments is there are quite a few limitations in terms of the exteriors and stuff also i tried to like completely bulldoze this apartment when i started this and it got rid of the floors and stuff like i don't know what that's about it's a little bit glitchy and weird but i, I overlooked it we're not gonna talk about it too much it's fine but the main thing is you can like change the interior walls luckily i don't know what i do if they kept those but yeah no i feel like these apartments uh, originally weren't like furnished badly or anything i quite like the layout and everything it looked really cool but that was pretty much it guys that is it for the speed build sorry i'm doing this but like a day later and i feel like you can tell i've literally like just woken up <laughs> guilty as charged yes i'm doing another last minute video i'm so sorry i'm really gonna get on top of my schedule guys i'm gonna push myself to do it because if i keep having to kind of like postpone things although last time i postponed the video on wednesday because i was a little bit ill but i'm a lot better now i think i'll probably reduce to one video per week but right now we're gonna try and go strong i'm gonna pre-record and like get on the 
the editing came and all that good stuff. But I do hope you liked the video. It was a little bit of a ranty one because I did want to talk about the new pack. Because I feel like it's important to discuss things in the Sims 4 community. Like that's what a community is about. Like talking about what you like, what you don't like and what you want to see in this game. When it all comes down to it, I love this game. It's a great game. I've played it for like a lot of my life and I will always respect it and like it. But everyone's allowed to have a critique and an opinion on what's happening in the community. Some people like it, some people won't, but it's just important to respect everyone's opinions at the moment. But that's pretty much it guys. If you did like the video, do give it a thumbs up and let me know what other videos you would like to see on this channel. Also do feel free to subscribe to stay tuned for videos every Wednesday and Saturday. And that is pretty much it guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.